two. If you're in the metro zone, we'll see that in the four zone coming up. Uh, I think we'll probably escape that number. The record, by the way, tomorrow is 30, so I don't think we'll get there. And we only set that uh, not too long ago, back in 2013. Look at that sunshine. Just a few clouds to make it interesting. Temperatures mid to upper 50s out there. Noticeable wind, but hey, when you're close to 60, uh, bring it on. We can handle it. Here's the jet, uh, and it is diving south. Uh, obviously, bring that cold air here to the center of the Great Lakes. And as we get later into the week, that jet takes a vacation to Canada, and it can stay there as far as we're concerned. Finally, the West getting some of that cold air as we get in on the above average stuff heading into next week. Clouds and radar, if you look closely by this morning, uh, right around sunrise as the uh, loop goes forward, you'll be able to see snow flurries. Metro Airport reported a trace of snow. It's the first time that we have seen flakes on May 12th. So that trace was technically a daily record. Here's the rain we're expecting on Thursday, and there's going to be quite a bit of it. Could be some thunderstorms mixed in there too, but it's really the rain we're more concerned about uh, Thursday into Friday. Rainfall totals could be reaching up to two inches in parts of the area, especially the south zone, by the end of Friday. But uh, everybody's going to get a good soaking out of that nonetheless, especially Thursday. 60 again tomorrow afternoon, and that's after another cold start, just a little bit milder uh, than what we woke up to this morning. We'll call it 34 in Romulus, 33 in the city. Now we start seeing some of those sub-freezing numbers, or at least close to 32 down there in Lenawee County. 31 starts showing up in the west zone for lows tonight. Chelsea, Howell, Fenton, and Flint, you're all at that mark. And north zone, there will be spots below 32 as well. Remember, Sandlot County, not under the... Uh, freeze warning because of the growing season a little bit later up there, but you're still going below 32. And look at all those 70s going into next week. Still expecting 80 by Wednesday, so we're under 200 hours to go until we get there, guys. <laughs> <laughs>